after countless, countless mid Disney Plus TV shows, we finally got two trailers back to back that make the movie look great. I actually want to go see these movies. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to sound a false alarm, but we are so f***ing back. Okay, let me calm down, let me temper expectations because I haven't seen the movies yet, so we might be back. We might be back. Because for all I know, I could go see those two movies and these could end up being worse than anything that Marvel's put out in the last five years. But if I'm to go off the trailers and what we've been given to look at and as a little preview, I don't think these movies are going to suck at all. I think this is going to make us feel like the old MCU because look at that Captain America trailer. That is crazy. Obviously, you can have the nerds online complain and say that it's not good. Oh, $300 million budget, and it looks like this. The whole time, the movie looks great. It feels like a, a, a spy thriller, kind of, like going through the government or whatever. And you got Red Hulk. I feel the complaints about the Hulk characters being in it, and I understand it. I get it, but... You just gotta hold it, brother. It's 2024. Complaining about accuracy in the MCU is like complaining about the Miami Heat running back their same team again just to get the eighth seed. It's gonna happen. You're not gonna get accuracy from this franchise. It's quite obvious that sometimes they'll give it to you, and then other times they'll tell you to fuck off. And given the actual Marvel slop they've been feeding us for the last few years, if I have to take a few Hulk characters for a good Captain America movie, I'm going to take those Hulk characters. I'm sorry. Sure, should the Hulk be getting his own movie if we're going to be using all these characters? Yes. Should the Captain America characters actually be in this movie? Yes, of course. But at this point, I'm just taking what I can fucking get. And is that kind of weak and sorry of me? Yeah, maybe just a little bit. But what can I say? I like superheroes. I like Marvel. I like DC. Sure, the boys is carrying me for a little bit. But let's not act like that's like superheroes being real superheroes. They are assholes. And yeah, I said I like DC. So does that mean you want me to go watch DC movies? It's not like they doing any better than Marvel. They're for sure not. They are literally in the worst position ever. They have one last chance with this Superman movie. If this movie stinks in any way possible and is anything below a 7 out of 10, maybe even an 8 out of 10, DC will never have a good cinematic universe movie-wise. It just, it'll just never happen, bro. Getting back to Marvel, though, this Captain America movie looks great. It looks like it's going to be Sam trying to prove that he is Captain America to people saying that he's not. And we got a little bit of that last season of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But I feel like a full flesh out movie with a decent runtime will actually elevate that story even more because let's just face it Disney don't know how to make TV shows right I think this is a much better place to try to tell a story like this bigger budget and most importantly you don't let it drag out for six hours long when clearly this was supposed to be a movie in the first place you know how AEW fans be like yo we're restoring the feeling with this episode of dynamite or this pay-per-view of AEW this is what this movie feels like. We're restoring the feeling of the MCU. I have not been excited for an MCU movie in so long. And speaking of MCU movies I'm excited for, Deadpool and Wolverine. We'll be right back to the series premiere of The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes on Disney XD. Hey, you don't watch halfway into this video. You like what I'm saying. Why is this button still red? Press the button. Join the family. And now, back to the series premiere of The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes on Disney XD. Now, to the people who know me personally, shit, you might not even need to know me personally to know that I don't like Deadpool. Comics, movies, TV shows, video games, it doesn't matter. Anything Deadpool, I'm not really that big of a fan of, right? I liked his first movie. I thought that was cool. His second movie, I refuse to watch it. Still haven't watched it. I just think Deadpool is for edgy 13 year olds who think that they're funny even though they're really not. Despite me saying all of that, that trailer made me a believer. That movie looks great. It's like them Deadpool traveling through the multiverse or whatever trying to figure out what's happening, yada yada yada, all that shit. Most importantly, we got Wolverine there, right? So we got Wolverine tax because I love Wolverine. 
and we have a multi-dimensional adventure. That just sounds like fun. And Marvel has the Fox characters back, so you don't know who might show up in this movie? Yeah, this sounds like fire. Well, some of the humor not hit for me. More than likely, I'll probably call a lot of things corny. But corny humor aside, that's still better than mid-washed-out Disney Plus TV shows. Anything but that. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I made a video about it. I think these Disney Plus shows is the reason why Marvel fell off so hard. And hopefully with these two movies, Captain America and Deadpool and Wolverine, they see that niggas just love movies and they go back to their roots and they go back to what was working. And for the most part, just dead TV shows, right? Give Daredevil a show. Give uh, Luke Cage and Iron Fist a show. The Netflix people their shows. And that's it, right? You don't gotta do too much. But most importantly, just chill, bro. Y'all was trying to do way too much. Six, seven movies a year, six, seven TV shows a year. Bro, give me two, three movies and a TV show a year. I promise you I'm chilling. I promise you. Now, hopefully both of these movies are good and this doesn't blow up in my face, the video, uh, because that would be just embarrassing. But I genuinely wouldn't make this video if I didn't have faith in those movies doing good because they just... There's something different about them, right? When you look at it, it's like compared to every other Marvel trailer, it's like it feels like they're trying, right? You know how niggas lean forward when they play video games? I feel like they lean forward. But hey, man, I'm just excited to be excited about superhero movies and things again because it's been a while. I started skipping out on everything Marvel related and I used to watch everything Marvel related. So hopefully this brings back that spark. But hey, most importantly, I hope it brings back Marvel Spark. Because when I tell you it was not hard to tell that that spark was gone, ooh wee. But seeing stuff like this, it just gives me hope for the Fantastic Four movie too. Because I was, I was losing hope every day just seeing them put out garbage after garbage on Disney Plus over and over again. It's just a little weight off my shoulder now. Not completely gone because that movie could still be like monkey ass, but you know... They got me, they got a little faith back in me now, you know? Alright, I think that's a good enough yap session for me. Let me know if you agree with Marvel potentially being back. If you like this video, subscribe and follow me. And have yourselves a damn good one. take naps man i don't take naps fuck that's that that's that's for the fucking birds man i, I just ain't doing that shit i'm not taking a nap